Can you edit this, like this part? Oh yeah, I can edit all of it. Like, so if we say oh. something crazy, so it's not that deep. Okay, cool. But you want to make sure you're like talking like this close to it. <laughs> 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 oh <my God. laughs> what are we doing? I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, do you think they can hear me? Yeah, yeah, they can hear you. Okay. Okay. Cheap ass headphones. <laughs> I got nice ones on the way, but Amazon is taking forever with this uh, quarantine. Mm. Okay. All right. Wait, wait, okay, yep. I think we're just jumping right into it. All right, let's get into it. All right. Ooh, I'm nervous. Bitch. <laughs> I'm literally sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Our neighbors are literally going to fucking hate us. <laughs> they already hate me. <laughs> they like, like me. <laughs> they ran one time down the hallway when he saw <laughs> I was like, okay, without further motherfucking ado. I know. We're already like, we're already off topic and I'm trying, we had a whole list planned out. All right. So some of you guys might not know us. Most of you guys are going to know us. Um, I'm Liv. I'm Paul. I'm a star. Yes. And this is going to be our new podcast. This is our first episode. We clearly don't really know what we're doing. We're just going for it. Um, we're going to call it Get Messy. Get Messy. <laughs> I'm excited. I think this is going to be a good time. I do, too. I think they should know some more fun facts about us, though. Yeah, to take, hit it. Go. Um, <sighs> take the lead. It's so weird being on spot. Like, when people ask you fucking questions, you're like... I have an identity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> all I know is I'm a star. That's all I really know. <laughs> um, so, I grew up in Virginia, and then I lived in various parts of the country crawl. Um, and we met when I moved to Baltimore in 2015, and now we live in New York City, so here we fucking are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in, well, we're in New York City, but we're technically in, uh, Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, so. Same, same, a, but different. Same, same, but different. Yeah, and we're quarantined here, stuck here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm from Baltimore, and I've actually. Yeah, that's how she says Baltimore. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Baltimore. <laughs> That sounds Baltimore. so gross. Um, yeah, from Baltimore, born and raised, and just moved up here. Not that I, well, I keep saying not that long ago, but it's been six months. Mm-hmm. I moved here in twenty eighteen, the end of twenty eighteen, so like twenty nineteen. So you're right? you're a native, yeah. bitch. <laughs> I don't think she's native anywhere, honey. She's a gypsy. <laughs> Wait, so when people ask where you're from, do do you say from New York? I haven't even been paying attention. I really, I just tell them crazy shit, honestly. Like, I never really tell anyone, like, my hometown because they're looking at me like I'm crazy and they have, first off, they have no idea where Roanoke, Virginia is. Um, so now, when people ask me, like, where are you from, I just say, like, I live in Jersey. Yeah. Like, I don't really, like, because if I'm like, girl, I lived in Austin, Texas, I lived in Atlanta, I lived in Baltimore, I lived in New York, blah, 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 blah. like, they're like... They just look at you all across so I'm not a mo- Yeah, bitch. I'm not a native, but I feel she like lived I, her best life. I still just say Baltimore. I don't know why. Like, I'm just, like, trained to say. That's where you're from. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Anyways. Leave me alone. Um. Okay. So, elephant in the room. We are in quarantine. Hmm. Feels like forever. We literally don't know when it's ending. I'm literally not participating in quarantine after... June 1st. Straight up. <laughs> My participation is fucking done. I'm over it. Over, we were walking today. We saw this kid sitting in his car. <laughs> he was so over quarantine. Like, he had had enough. I mean, I think everyone has. I think at this point, like, I keep telling everyone, I'm like, I'm literally not participating after June 1st. Like, yeah. I refuse. I, like, I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'm not participating. Yeah, and we're like in the hot spot too. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna be dead last. I've already yeah. accepted it. Like when I talked to everyone and they're like, "Oh, I think we're opening May something." I'm like, "Okay, so who no. knows when we're opening?" No. But realistically, though, like everyone keeps like all my family and like my friends who obviously don't live up here are like, "How is it? Like, is it so different?" And da, da, da. I'm like, "Bitch, we're all doing the same thing. Like, it doesn't matter what part of the country you're in. Like, yeah." They're like, are people on the streets? Yes. You know what? We were just walking the other day and we, crowds full of people, you know? Like, it's not like. Yeah, it's really not that different. The only thing different, because I was in um, Baltimore for most of the quarantine. I was there. Well, I mean, I say that, but I don't know when it's ending. So 
felt like most of it. Yeah. I was there for a month and then I just came up here last week and literally it was the same. The only difference is that there's lines outside at the grocery store here, but I think that's just because there's more people here. Yeah. They have to like make sure it's like regulated. Yeah. It's fucking too bad. But prior to fucking quarantine, let's talk about what we were doing before that. When we were living life, <laughs> bitch. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was an event. Uh, <laughs> you don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, shit. Okay. I keep hitting that stupid thing. I'm trying to think of like how to even how to begin. I well, we went to the city. Well, we'll preface it with that mm-hmm. because well, that's our favorite place to go. I feel like I had a pink suit on. You did have a pink suit. I had a full bedazzled outfit. Um like disco ball style because well i thought our own that was this is my first um what did you go out last year for new year's this is and this was my first new year's in new york no i did it i was in i think i went to virginia for new year's like not 2020 but 2019 i think yeah. yes i did i did i was in virginia yeah i was well so i thought the girls turned up and turned out in new york i was like this is my first new year's in new york i am going to look like a disco ball i'm ready to party um you turn up and turn out too, and we were the ball of the ball. You know, I mean, I blacked out by like eleven o'clock. <laughs> well, <'cause, okay. laughs> I don't even really remember the ball dropping. <laughs> we went to an open bar, <laughs> and we knew it was going to be a oh, shit yeah. show. Oh yeah, I mean, you can't put an open bar in front of the girls and it be not a shit show. Come on now. We met these two guys in line. Uh huh. I really hope that they're not watching this. But... I really hope they are because I don't remember their names. <laughs> Um, oh. I'm going to call them, like, Fred and Ed. That's what I'm going to call them, because I really don't know their names. I really don't either. I don't either. I have no idea. I was trying to think of them, but, like, I, I'll be sitting here for the whole length of our talking. They are sweet. Very funny gal pals. I knew from the moment we met them that that was how our night was going to go. Yes. It was me, her, and then our friend Peyton. Mm-hmm. Just us three taking on the town girl, and then we met our new friends in line. Oof. <sighs> Then we met a lot of new friends. We sure did. And we met that lady. Mm-hmm. I loved her. I think her name was Debbie, but you don't think her name was Debbie. No. Rachel? Yes. Rachel? Yes. <laughs> yes it was fucking Rachel. I have a picture yeah. of him and Rachel. <laughs> um, so if you guys are watching this on the YouTube version, um, if you guys are listening on Spotify, you guys won't be able to see. But on YouTube, I'm going to put up a picture of him and Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel was so a really gra- great friend of ours and fed me all the free drinks and... It was rough. She was great. She was like, okay, so how would we describe Rachel? She was older. Mm-hmm. Um, she was like 50s ish. She lived yeah. in Texas. She was. I'm gonna assume she was probably single. I don't know, but she was like one of those older ladies mm-hmm. that just like does not give up their youth, and I love <laughs> it. <laughs> like she, she literally reminds me of my friend Scarlett. Yes. Yep. She like literally. Shout out to Scarlett if she's listening. Yeah, it's like she literally reminds me of my friend Scarlett. Love Scarlett her. is like. We've got to have her on as a guest. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> She'd love to. Scarlett is like my best friend. She's like, she just actually turned 50 recently. Um, <laughs> and she is a who and a hanny. Oh my God. But yeah, she reminded me a lot of Scarlett. Yeah. A lot. That night was eventful. Um, and then we also went to LA mm-hmm. a little bit after. That was like the end of January. Yeah. And listen, I'm going to just say it. LA is not all it's cracked up to be. Okay. No. Because I, since we're living in New York, I was like, bitch, we've got to hit the other town. Mm-hmm. we got to hit LA. And plus, you were going out there anyways. Yeah, I was going out there for work. So I went out like a week prior and then Liv flew out. And we had high hopes, honey. I had been to California before, but I, I had never like really gone out, out, out in LA. So it was definitely, first off, the bar closed at two. Yeah. Uh, and if you know me, and you know me being in New York City, the bars don't close till when the hell ever they want to. It doesn't really, <laughs> they say four girl, but I've been in the club at like six, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> but everything best happens after 1.30. So it felt like in LA, like we were going out, we were like, uh, you know, haven't lived in our life, but then it'd be like last call and it would be time to like go. Where in New York, like I don't think that I've ever heard like, Last ever. call ever, not, we not one that time a goal after quarantine. Yeah, right to like <laughs> Samuel Bar well. after. I've never heard, and it could be that I don't remember, but I've never heard any bar in New York be like, "All right, last call, everyone, get your last drink." The only time never. that I've ever, I have stayed at a bar till it closed 
with someone. I'm not going to mention their name, but <laughs> with someone. I don't even think I've stayed somewhere till it closed in New York. Like, literally, either I just bar hop until... Well, this was, like, a Wednesday, so, you Until know. I'm not well anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, that one night that we went to, um... What was it? White Castle? Oh, my God. That was... Ugh. not well no no ma'am <laughs> um but no la was not it no it's definitely like i want to say it's like the lesser of two evils because it's like well, la yeah. is what was like that thing i posted it was like uh new york is like a shitty no no la is a shitty heaven and um new, new york, york is like is... a pretty hell or something like that yes yes it's true it's so it's so true like I much prefer to go out or live in, well, first off, I like the East Coast a lot better than the West, but that's, you know, another here or there. But LA was just like, eh, meh. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. I didn't have a desire. And like everyone lives out there. So I was like, this is the place. And mm. honestly, if I was like, I had a ton of money. I'd live here. Mm-mm. Yeah, I would not be there. I would be yeah. here. I mean, the fair part of the trip was literally we rented a convertible by accident. Uh, that, was, that was the best part. <laughs> that was literally, we just like well, drove and, through and, the mountains. Uh, touring the studios. That was a ton of fun, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, my friend Becca took us on a tour of Universal, right? Yeah. It is. No, Paramount. <laughs> Are you sure? Paramount. Paramount. <laughs> I don't I actually. Know I don't know. Right. You know, she just bumped her fucking head on the thing. Um, I was around here but, laughing. You got my <laughs> on I don't know. It was Paramount or Universe. I'm not really sure which one it was. Wherever Mr. Phil's uh, filmed, um, <laughs> but that was fun. But everything else was just like, um. yeah. I'm gonna let you talk about our good friend, Miss mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Zach. I love Miss Zach. After, shortly after LA, we come back and we're like exhausted from just like traveling and shit like that. And then my friend Zach comes up here. And the reason I'm talking about Miss Zach is because she has decided to feature content <laughs> of me on her TikTok, her Instagram, and probably YouTube. And she ain't run me that check yet. So I am not happy. <laughs> so Miss Zach, if you're listening, run me that check. You got my cash app and my Vimo, baby. I accept both. But anyways... Miss Zach came to play shortly after, and then after that, we haven't done shit because we were just, like, chilling out, and then we went to shelter in place or shelter at home, state, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, but Miss Zach came and saw and conquered. That's for damn sure. If she's a hoot and a half. Oh, my God. We've she was trying to have to... her on this show. Oh, you girls would love her. Yeah. She tried to take us to a, like, seven ninety nine breakfast brunch buffet that's, like, two blocks from our house, oh, and uh-uh, yeah. she was dead set on that did not happen and that mm -mm, absolutely not miss zach drugged my ass to the club two nights in a row which if you know me you know i go out like one time i go balls to the wall and then i have to recuperate for like three days um but (laughs) miss zach was like no ma'am you're coming out with me and it's gonna happen now so i did to appease her had three drinks and then i was like bad girl and i left her there (laughs) messy (laughs) all right let's talk about what we're currently doing in quarantine okay so, I have been dying to talk about this, and he told me it's over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> like, every time we talked about doing our podcast, I was like, we're going to talk about Tiger King. No. And he was like, no, it's over and done with. No one wants to talk about it. I'm like, I want to talk about it, so I'm talking about Tiger King. Um, I have things I want to talk about with Tiger King. Oh, I'm glad someone does. I'm overhearing it. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. I want to know what you think about Carol Baskins. I think she's a lovely lady. Um, that is innocent, and that she did not kill her husband. You really think that? I don't know. I'm not her. I wasn't there. I think that bitch did it. I think she killed her husband. I mean, if you look at her, you know, she's a little cross-eyed, a little googly-eyed. So I think she was perfectly capable of doing so. Yeah. I don't know if she fed him to the tigers, though. No. That's too obvious. I think she did something crazier, because she got that wild look in her eye. I don't know. I really don't know. Um... What else was... Oh, I was going to say, do you think... Because I don't know when he's supposed to come out of jail, but do you think he'll come out sooner with, like, everything going on or no? Well, in that episode they added, because I watched Tiger King all in one night, so I can't sit here and, like, talk shit about it. I I literally, like, watched it all in, like, one day. So I can't sit here and say that I didn't like it, because I did. Um, But if you watch the other episode of the interviews, I don't even think that he's getting any, like, money from this. No. um, Yeah, because I watched something with the the producer guy. I don't know his name. But he was on, um, oh, my God. Why can't I think of names right now? The guy who's Joe Dirt. Oh. The guy who plays Joe Dirt. 
Oh, is it Alec? <laughs> no, like the actor. Who's the actor that plays Joe Dirt? Why is my brain like blinking? He's a funny guy. Alex. Is he? Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> Alex. The one that just... Girl. <laughs> the girl... <laughs> <laughs> the guy, they, like, want him to play uh, Joe in the movie. Like, they, what is his name? God damn it. It's going to bother me. Who is Joe Exotic? <laughs> no, not who is Joe Exotic. Oh, my God. No, it's going to bother fuck? me. Hang on. The guy that did the interviews for the last one? No. Oh, you know who I'm yes, talking about. Yes, the blonde guy. David Smith. Yes. <laughs> I'm like Smith. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking freak. <laughs> because I... Because I couldn't think of it. Okay, David Spade. Yes, okay. He had on the producer on, like, an interview thing. Um, And anyway, yeah, I mean, the guy basically said he's not making any money. Yeah, no, he's not making anything from it. After all that. (laughs) The only people I think seeing money from it is that one Jeff. That one guy, Jeff, is probably making some coin. Oh, yeah. And the other Doc guy. Oh, Doc Antle? Mm Mm-hmm. He a freak. They all froof. But his husbands are cute. He gets cute guys. Yes, the, okay? poor, the poor one that accidentally, quote unquote, um, shot himself. He oh my god! Fine, mm. okay. And, Did girl. he not look like a guy I would date? Chill. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh. Um, so all I gotta do is go get me some kitties and lure me in a little. Now I'm gonna put you on the spot. Uh. Uh-uh. A little bit. Okay. I just want to know. Okay, what do you think about what he did? Do you think he should be in jail, or do you think he should not be? Because I'm mixed. I have mixed emotions. I mean, because new stuff keeps coming out, so with the new stuff coming out, I don't know how I feel, but what they said in the movie, I don't, I mean, out of, he had like 300 tigers, right? I think that, oh yeah. And I they think said that, like four were shot, so I would, I mean, based off what he said, like if they were sick, I would think that it would be reasonable for girl, four to be sick. Girl, those damn cats were not sick. For he four is, to be sick, though, out of like 300, that makes sense to me. She didn't like those ones, so she shot the motherfuckers. <laughs> That's what the fuck happened. You think? So, yes, absolutely. I think he was like, that one tried to bite me, bitch. I'm going to shoot it. Because I feel like if he was like some nasty guy and like just wanted cage space, he would have mm. shot a lot more. No, girl. I think those four were the ones that tried to try his ass, and he said, poop, poop. You done, baby. I don't think he deserves as much time as he got for like the whole like the, the, the I think that he was doing it as a show like the whole like paying the guy to go down there I don't think the guy oh, was ever gonna go yeah, for it yeah that part too because they got they got him on that too right yeah. it wasn't just because yeah the other part I think he should have gone like to jail for because how long is he away it's a long time 22 years I think yeah 17 years something like that it's the other part like the trying to murder someone I feel like they really don't have like any evidence for it <laughs> yeah besides they sent the guy down there or whatever and the guy was like roaming around you know on his little tractor beep 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 I don't know but I don't think, I think it was for a show. I think he was doing it for like a storyline and it backfired. I think is what happened. And now his ass is sitting in that little jail with, he ain't got no blonde hair anymore. I know, he looked crazy in those videos. He looks crazy as hell in general, but I mean, the bitch ain't, he looked real crazy now. Yeah, but I don't know, because every time I watch a new interview, like something else comes out. Like, like I watched, did you watch the after show? After, oh, yeah. I can't talk, after show. Yeah. Um, and they, interviewed the people? Yeah, and they yeah. all said he was mean. So maybe he was like some old hateful guy. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think he definitely is an asshole, but I, I live for it. It's good TV. <laughs> definitely entertaining. Oh, my God. I forgot. The What's original. The, oh, my God. So everyone's <laughs> going crazy about Tiger King and shit. And if you have watched this movie, you are you know what I'm talking about. But it's called Wild Wonderful Whites of West Virginia. And it is a, like... It's like a movie, it's kind of like a documentary on a family in West Virginia, the White family. And everyone who's like obsessed with Tyra King, I always am like, girl, you have got to watch The Wild North Whites, West Virginia, because it's literally Tiger King without the cats, add a ton of drugs, a ton of alcohol, a ton of just like rampages. It's fucking crazy. And it's like, it's like two and a half hours from where I'm from. So it's in Boone County, West Virginia, and it's a shit show. It like follows this family around that like they don't they don't have work, so they just live off the government, um, and just like are literally clinically crazy. And their dad was a famous tap dancer, which is ironic. And then one of the one of his sons becomes a famous tap dancer. They're featured in like Willie Nelson songs. They're also really close to um, what the fuck is his name? That one. Oh my god. I don't know. It's the guy that's in the movie. 
Well, I, didn't, I couldn't keep up with anyone. But it is a really crazy movie. Like, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know what to say half the time. I was just baffled. Um, the one girl has a baby and then, like, starts snoring lines, like, right after the baby's born. Yeah, I was baffled. She's like, she's Miss America. I'm like, no, baby. What she is is high. <laughs> she's a lost her <laughs> Bitch. Mind. Like, uh-uh. the Taco Bell scene was definitely my favorite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got, what she asked for the first time? You got fajitas? Y'all got fajitas. I want a steak and cheese fajita with only steak and cheese. Okay. Man, we don't have any fajitas. All right, well, y'all got not mozzarella cheese sticks. <laughs> it's just it's, like... Oh, my God. Oh. It's literally like... Gold is it, what it is. Yeah, it's so fucking good. Gold. And then you've been watching a cult show. Yes, I did watch... <laughs> oh, my God. And... <laughs> What's the name of it? You're going to make me laugh again. Um, it's called... Wild Wild Country. It's on. I think it's on Netflix. I think it's like a no. Yes, it is on Netflix. It was like Netflix's like first big break in like a documentary, um, and it's about this. I don't even know if he's like a religious leader. He's more of just like I don't fucking know. But he his name is Bogwan. I think is like what they call him. Which it, 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 they tell you what it means. I think it means like some sort of god. I don't really know to be honest with you, but. Um, they start, they originate like overseas somewhere and then like, it's like a spiritual movement, not like technically religious because they practice like different religions inside of this cult. And then he appoints this one woman who is like a badass bitch. Like she is so good. Um, I mean, she's evil, but she's good. Um, and they move here to Oregon and create this like, cult so to speak this like compound um in some part of like Oregon that's like more like it's like pretty much like a desert yeah you said it's like somewhere out in the desert <clears throat> yeah and the, the town like b- prior to them being there the town had like I think like it was like 30 people it was like a sm- like a l- like ridiculously small town and they come and like take over like the government they run for like mayor and shit like they recruit homeless people from like southern california to like come live and like give them housing and then they drug them at one point and then it's fucking insanity and it's i think it's like six episodes like it's like five and a half hours long like total it's worth the watch loves it i just can't believe that that like happened and i have no idea it happened well it's like they say in there that you can literally just create your own town and as long as you have I, it's like a certain number. I think it's like 10 people. You can like create your own town if the town's uninhabited. Yeah, it's like 10, I think. Bitch, we finna start a town. Okay, I'm trying to go to somewhere in like central Jersey <laughs> and create a little town or something. Or maybe even like upstate New York where it's like real wilderness-y. And I'm going to have people call me Bogwan. <laughs> <laughs> people be like, I'm Bogwan, okay? Yes, queen. Um, I haven't been watching anything fun. I've just been watching True Blood. I'm late to the game though. Yeah, I literally have been watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, the season's over and over and over again. I've seen every single episode of all of them. Except for season one, because, and two. Uh, because the quality is, like, so shitty. Yeah, my eyes can't, like, focus on... I can't, like, I can't watch, like... <laughs> you just, like, bug out. Yeah, I can't watch anything from, like, early 2000s up to, like, 2008. Because the quality is just so bad on new TVs. It's, like, that sounds, like, so privileged. <laughs> on my new TV. I can't TV. watch it on my 4K, okay? <laughs> No, it looks ugly, and it makes everyone have that, like, filter that looks like you just, like, put a towel all over their face. I don't know. I hate it. I literally hate it. So I don't watch anything that, like, Mark gets – Mark is my boyfriend. He gets so mad at me because I'm like, I don't want to watch that. It's from, like, 1999. And he's like, really, it's such a good movie. I'm like, I can't pay attention. The quality is so fucking bad. But it's the truth. I won't watch it. Like, I literally just, like, won't. Oh, she won't watch it. Hell no. I won't watch it. <laughs> Shit's for the birds. Okay. All right. We've talked about quarantine. Plans for after quarantine. I know what I'm doing first thing. We're going to the club. we hit in the club. We're going to the club. Mm-hmm. But I don't know when we're getting out. I um, want to play putt-putt. Mm-hmm. We're going to the beach. We are. Well, we're going we're gonna to low-key try and go to the beach. Sooner than that, actually. While we're in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not going to be around anybody. Right. And honestly, like, the beach is here. I keep seeing all these cute boys. So mm-hmm. I'm going to post up in my bathing suit and be like, hello. This picture's probably a year old, baby, but it's okay. Who? The pictures you've seen out of these boys. <laughs> you, did you hit recent? I, look, it said he posted it two days ago. Who? This guy. Oh, she'll not say it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
probably guess, but. Okay, no, I kind of played myself, okay? Because he's, there's a guy up here, and he's like a model, obviously. I, you know, I like my pretty boys. Um, she likes them prettier with no teeth. No in between. <laughs> <laughs> straight up um okay but no so i played myself so but he kind of has like a lot of followers but um i was on tinder one night he pops okay, up golfing fit. is she, is she okay here. she well oh <laughs> she's not well oh she, got the, she got the rona <laughs> damn it um anyway he popped up on my tinder one night and i literally just like scrolled past him because i was like oh it's a fake account and like then you met him that same one no, it's the other one. Oh. Oh, which also I got a little thing to say. Um, but no. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, and then I think it was like actually him. Cause oh, how did I know? Okay, cause like no, no, I found out it was actually him because I thought he lived in a different state, and then I checked his Instagram, and it was tagged in the same location as his Twitter. So She'd be lurking these him. poor boys. Too. I really do. I'm like crazy. No, bitch. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, he's but in. no. He's in Times Square right now. We gotta go over there. Oh, he's in West. He, you know, he's in the West Side. We gotta go over there. I'm like, bitch, how do you know where the hell he at? <laughs> because I'm crazy as hell. I was just gonna say these fuckboys are on one with this quarantine. Are they on one? I mean, I know you have a boyfriend, but like, have they been on one with you too? Just like people coming out of the wor- woodworks. Mm mm. No. Okay, well, everybody coming out of the woodwork no. for me. I no, mean, another one's coming out of the woodworks that my friend had a foursome for her birthday. <laughs> 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 that's shade too bitch <laughs> and she got a man <laughs> you've lost your mind but no i mean i have a, literally i think i literally had a guy message me today and said come over tonight like uh, there is a pandemic uh uh-uh. i, I would have gone hey wait uh, let's do it you know i think it. he's cute oh it's mm. like one of those boys on my snapchat sometimes for fun we just go through my snapchat uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll do that for an episode oh my god that would be we some should do that shit. that would be some shit <laughs> all right i think we're gonna call it quits yeah this thing's hurt my fucking ear yeah we gotta get professional headsets and stuff um but i feel like i'm feeling confident mm-hmm. i feel like we can do this mm-hmm. we also want to know we have a name but we want to know what you guys think this should be called because we have there's been thirty seven thousand names for this damn thing but we want to know, like, what you guys think it should be called. Right now, it's called Get Messy, but it could change. Never know. And once I'm famous and have a lot of money, then we'll get, you know, like, a whole studio. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be real profesh. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so comment below with whatever names you're thinking or send it to us or, I don't know, if you have a good one, we might just switch it to Give it. Give us some ideas, too, girl. Yes, if you guys have podcast ideas or topics or anything fun and fresh, mm-hmm. send it our way. Yes, baby. Y'all have a blessed evening. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, bow your head and pray to the Lord and make sure that you don't go the hell outside. You keep inside. And I know that I keep joking with all my friends like, bitch, I am not going anywhere. Slash. <laughs> I do as I want. But um, stay safe and let us know what you think, bitches. Yes. All right. We'll catch you guys Cheers. on the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>